Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I will be showing you how to set up Puzzle Gaming's control, which is required in order to essentially play Puzzle Gaming all with your friends. So, Puzzle is a desktop capturing application primarily used for card based gaming through video stream. Using Puzzle, a user can stream video game footage to internet connection, allowing one to run a game on PC but play it remotely. POSIC can also be used as low latency desktop sharing software. Basically, you are able to play local multiplayer games such as Overcooked, Bomberman, Metal Slug, and Also, the gameplay is surprisingly smooth. It also allows as many players as possible while allowing simultaneous input. Now let's move on to the steps, so let's do it. You will need to download Interception, download VIGEM, download UCR, configure UCR, activate profile, restart POSIC and play. It is that simple. First off, let's start with downloading Interception. As usual, download link will be provided in the description down below. Interception works by getting input from your keyboard and mouse. Now, installing Interception isn't like installing a program. You will first need to extract your Intercept download to a folder. Go to the command line installer folder. Go to the search. Type in command and open as administrator. Now copy the address of your command line installer folder. Type in cd, control v, and another backslash. Now type in install interception.exe slash install I have already installed the interception so I do not need to download again but if you have not downloaded it yet please do restart your computer next step we have to install VIGEM VIGEM allows you to have your Xbox input to be acceptable by POSIC now I have already downloaded the setup before this but if you haven't yet, please download them as I have already provided the link down in the description below. Installing VIGEM is simple. Simply run the setup program as you would normally do. Now I have already installed this before, but you just have to follow the step as you would normally download a program. And it will be fine. Finally, you will need UCR. UCR, which stands for Universal Control Remapper, is the key software to this process as it helps remapping our keyboard input to a VIGEM Xbox input. To download UCR, you will need to download version 0.6, as I personally find it to work better compared to the latest version. Again, download link for version 0.6 will be provided in the description down below. After downloading UCR, extract the raw file to a folder, then run UCR as an administrator. Go to Devices, click on Manage Device Group, Input Groups, and click on Add Group and name it anything you like. Look for Core Interception and click on Keyboard Input. It usually has the letter K in front of it. Click on No Device Group and add it. You have added the keyboard to the input for remapping. Now click on Output Groups, add a new device group, and add VIGM Xbox 360 Controller 1 to that group. Go to Main Menu, Profiles, New Profile, name it anything you like, but remember to choose your device groups as the one configured before. Now double click on New Profile and remap controls. Let's start with movement keys. With the mapping label, type right. 
Now pick the current mapping plugin button to button. Click your mapping and add. Click to bind and press your right key. I prefer using the right arrow key keyboard key, but you can also use D from WASD. Now on the button to button mapping, bind the key to D pad right. Next is the left button, up button, down button. Now let's do the A, B, X, Y button. I'll start with A. Same process, but map it to buttons to A. You can use any buttons you like, but I'm using Z as a mapping to A. X as a mapping to B. C as a mapping to X. and a V as a mapping to Y. Next, for the start button, I prefer using the Enter key. For the R, L, B, R, B, L, S, and R, S button, I prefer mapping the R, S button to the left shift. The L, S button to the left control button the RB button to the right shift and finally the LB button to the right control button now you control the whole setup save the profile and click on activate profile in the profile tab as you can see, it's working fine when I click on my keyboards. We start pausing and let's try playing some arcade. As you can see, as I am pressing my left and right key, that's my character. As you can see, I'm changing characters and it looks perfectly fine. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.